Yo, what is going on everyone? This is JP here with PSG and we have some breaking news. Hello. It is certainly isn't how I uh, envision this or plan this. Uh, but, but I am going to retire. Uh, this is not an easy decision. Uh, honestly, it's the hardest decision of my life. Uh, but it is the right decision for me. Uh, for the last four years or so, I've been in this cycle of injury, pain, rehab, injury, injury pain, rehab. Uh, and it's been unceasing and relenting, unrelenting, both in season, both in and off season. Uh, and I felt stuck in it. And the only way I see out uh, is, is to, to no longer play football. Uh, it's, it's taken my joy of this game away. Uh, and uh, this, sorry. Yes, you heard that correct. Andrew Luck has retired from the NFL after winning his only Super Bowl. He is no longer a part of this team. Uh, now we have to find our next, our next uh, player to get our next QB to step up. So uh, we'll just have to see where we can go from there. But let's look at uh, the weekly awards real quick here. Andrew Luck, hit nothing even though he won six tackles, one sacks, one interception by Darius Leonard there. We got some upgrades available. We'll just auto upgrade all these because they're all pretty good upgrades there for players. And we'll advance to the first week here of the off season. So let's go sign some, some free agents. We have 38 million in cap space. All right, so let's look at the QB position here. Uh, Marcus Mariota available? No, definitely not. Dak Prescott? No, definitely not. I feel like I can definitely get somebody better than any of these guys. And uh, there's jo Jacoby Brissett. He's going to go to the uh, New Orleans Saints. We're going to see him in the Super Bowl. So next year, damn, Ryan Tannehill is available too. Tyrod Taylor. No. All right, halfbacks. Kareem Hunt. That would be sick, but no. All right, so Kareem Hunt. I want to draft. I want to draft someone. He is only 25 years old, though. He's a power back, though. I don't need two power backs. Yeah. Full back. I have my full back wide receiver. Ooh. T uh, T Tyree Kill. Man, that would be a nasty pair up. All right, we might have to go after him. D don't need that. 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 Brian Volga. He's 31. No, we'll probably draft someone. Left in. Carlos Dunlap. Defensive tackle. Tim Jernigan. He's a star player. He might be someone worth bringing in. We'll see. Right in. Yannick Ningwakwe. There we go. That's a that's a star player right there. That's someone we need. We probably need to bring in right there. Uh, yeah, we'll probably try to make him a priority. Uh, don't need left outside linebacker. Miles Jack, another good player there. Um, we'll just have to see first. Andre Campbell, Dante Fowler Jr. All right, cornerbacks. Okay, I think getting a really freaking good corner is smart. Let's go five years. 5.8. Because it's 94. We're a little under. So let's just uh, increase that by 10 mil. And then we'll throw a little cherry on top here. An extra 0.5 million signing bonus. All right, that puts us in first there. We don't need free safeties. Don't need strong safeties. All right, so let's go to wide receiver. Let's see where we're at here. 93 points. Okay, we're in first for him too. 
And then next, who was it left in? Maybe it was defensive tackle. How much do you want? Two years, 6.64 million. I think Unique Nick Walkway would be a perfect scheme fit here for us. Let's just see what this, ooh. I'm not gonna have any cap space left over, that's okay. Yeah, I can't even sign this guy, withdraw that offer. Let's go up to defensive tackle here. Yeah, there's no one I'm going to be able to really bring in that I'm going to want. Robert Quinn, Willie Henry. Yeah, let's just see what we can, if we can get those two guys. That would be some really big pickups there. So we'll advance to the next week here. Oh, accept it, but reject it. Tyree Kill rejected our contract. Let's see, is he still available? If he's still available, we, we got to bring him in, right? He's gone. Dang. League signings. Tyree Kill signed to the Buffalo Bills. They upped us. They freaking upped us. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to start the NFL draft here. We have a lot of, a lot of picks. I'm going to pause this. And uh, I'll probably pretty much only show you the selections I make or trades. So let me pick a player with the first pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Indianapolis Colts select Tua Tagovailoa out of Alabama. He's got a hidden dev trade, 76 overall, 6'1", 218 pounds. Yeah, he's going to be a beast. I well, like Jerry Judy. I really want Chase Young. I think I'm just going to have to go with him. Honestly. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to choose him here. I have the six pick, too. So I might be able to get a, frick, a pretty good corner. I might be able to get like Trayvon Diggs or something. And then with the 16th pick, so I might be able to get Moses there. If not, I'll be able to get Raekwon Davis. I've got this draft pretty freaking set up here. So I think with this first pick, I'm going to have to go with Mr. Chase Young here. Nice. 79 overall in dev. A lot of these first round picks are going to be in dev trait. Guys, they're going to make me impacts. I'm going to go Derek Brown. Another solid pick. So I think I should take this center and I'll throw him at right guard since we lost. Oh yeah, since we lost. Dang man, we are killing this freaking draft right now. Which, I mean, the more first round picks you have, the better because the more we're going to go with Troy Die. Alright, nice. Travis Etnine. Fastest running back in this draft. 74 overall. Let's see his rating. 94 speed. Let's freaking go. We need a right outside linebacker. Let's go with this guy. Convert him over. 73 overall. Not bad. What's his uh, power man? Blah, blah, blah. Zone coverage 71. And cover 66. Okay, so we'll definitely have to move him over. Available. All right, let's take Henry Ruggs here. 73 overall normal. I mean, didn't get everyone correct, but it's all right. He should be able to. 96 speed. Perfect guy for us. He might be a slot guy. Let's just go Jalen Johnson here. 73 hidden. Okay. All right, so he could be a stud. Let's go. Let's go with another defensive tackle. Sixty-nine overall hidden. Uh, I'll take it because you know we can just get rid of uh, the other dude. Yeah, six, seven, seven, fourth, fifth, fifth. Bam! Look there. Let's look at the draft recap real quick. As we'll see here. Got Tua Tag Tagalavoa in the first, Chase Young, 
Gonna be a starting right end. Got a Derek Brown defensive tackle. Then get a center. We're gonna move out to right guard. A, a decent middle linebacker to pair with um, uh, Jayon Brown. Travis Etnine to come in and be the change of pace back behind Derek Henry. And Fernie Jennings will move right outside linebacker. He, he has 85 speed, so he should do pretty decent there. Henry Ruggs the third. It's going to be our new deep threat with 96 speed. Jalen Johnson will be a good man-to-man -man corner. He'll probably be like the third or fourth on the depth chart. And then Mustafa Johnson, he's 69 overall. But I think he was hitting dev, so he can come in and play a, piv a pivotal role for us. <sighs> we got some good backups at left and right outside linebacker there. And then Jordan Miles left in 70 overall in the fourth round. Might even be a starter this year. We will find out. And then a 71 overall left guard in the seventh round was a steal. So we did pretty good this draft. We did excellent, honestly. We, we really, like, for all the players I got rid of, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so let's check out the team here just real quick. So, look. Hidden Dev, Hidden Dev, Hidden Dev. Henry Ruggs is normal development. Tyler is a Hidden Dev. We're going to move him to right guard. He's a 74 overall. Alright. So we have a pretty decent O line after we move Tyler over. Defensively here, uh, you know, obviously. Okay, we might leave Kamiko Terry. How old is Kamiko Terry? He's 25. We'll leave Kamiko out there. Um, Mustafa Johnson is going to be there. There we go. Look at there. Three. This guy's now number four on the death chart. Inferno Jennings. They kind of look like brothers. Uh. Bernie Jennings going to move to right outside linebacker. And he's going to start over Shaquem Griffin. Alright, however... No, that's not how I want that done. I hate when you do that. You edit one player. My team, depth chart... I'm gonna get this all straightened out real quick. Let's go to right outside linebacker here. Shaquem Griffin. Put him up. Left outside linebacker. Darius Leonard. Put this dude behind him. There we go. Corner wise. These guys should play good together. They should play good together. Alright, now let's look at left guard here. Oh, I'm sorry. Right guard. We are going to take. Tyler, throw him over there so we have a good combo there. And then wide receiver. Henry Ruggs will be our number three. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way that's set up there. I'm going to move Raymond up to number four there. Tight ends. We got rid of Jack Doyle. I think what I want to do here is put Derrick Henry. Let's try to get uh, some reps to to Travis there. And then we'll let Derrick Henry be the third down of power halfback. I think that's pretty, pretty good there. It's advanced preseason week one where we'll just sim through all that and let these guys get some training. But... If you enjoyed the video, guys, smash the like button, hit subscribe if you're new, and until next time, guys, this is JP with PSG. Say peace out. Have a wonderful day.